Hello viewers and welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, Salmonella food poisoning. Uh, but before starting this I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos you know, to support this channel. And uh, if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, uh, you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know. Or alternatively, you can click the link in the description area just below this video. You know, it will take you to the new page of this website. Now I come to the topic, uh, Salmonella food poisoning. You know, uh, certain bacteria in the group of Salmonella, they cause uh, Salmonella food poisoning. And uh, these bacteria live in the intestines of the humans and the animals. And the uh, human infection results when food or water that have been contaminated uh, with the infected feces is ingested you know. and uh, the gastrointestinal salmonella infection usually affects uh, the small intestine and it is uh, uh, also called as salmonella enter enterocolitis or uh, like enteric salmonellosis uh, you know uh, and it's one of the most common types of the food poisoning uh, you know, it's most common uh, in people uh, under the 20 years of age, you know, and uh, it's more likely to occur in the summer months because uh, uh, the salmonella bacterium grows better uh, in the warm weather, you know. The next thing is what are the causes of uh, salmonella food poisoning? Well, as I said earlier, uh, Eating the food or the drinking any liquid which is contaminated with a certain species of the salmonella bacteria, they cause the salmonella food poisoning. You know. And the people are usually infected by eating raw foods or uh, prepared foods that have been handled by others you know, who are infected with this uh, uh, bacteria. You know. And the salmonella is often uh, spread when uh, people don't wash. Uh, their hands after using the toilet you know and uh, it's uh, it can also be spread by like uh, handling the pets especially like uh, reptiles and birds you know and uh, thorough cooking or uh, the pasteurized uh, pasteurization it kills the salmonella bacteria you know and uh, you are at risk when you consume raw undercooked or uncooked or unpasteurized items you know and uh, uh, it is commonly caused by like uh, undercooked uh, uh, chicken, undercooked turkey or undercooked other poultry products, you know, and undercooked eggs, unpasteurized milk or juices and contaminated raw fruits, uh, vegetables and uh, nuts, you know. And a number of uh, factors can increase your risk of uh, infection which may include like uh, having the family members with the salmonella food poisoning having a pet uh, reptile or bird you know that carry that bacteria you know and living in a group uh, housing such as uh, dorms or the nursing homes uh, where you are regularly uh, like exposed to many people and the food preparation by others you know and traveling to developing countries where the sanitation is poor and hygiene uh, standards are not that good you know if compared to the first world, you know, America or Europe, Canada or Europe or other first world countries, you know. And if you have a weakened immune system, you are more likely to, uh, they, uh, compared to others, you know, to get this uh, infection, you know. The next thing is what are the symptoms of the, uh, this type of the food poisoning? Well, you know, uh, the symptoms, uh, often come quickly you know and usually within 8 to 72 hours after consuming the contaminated food or contaminated water you know and the symptoms may be aggressive and can last for up to 48 hours and typically they include like uh, abdominal pain or cramping and tenderness you know chills uh, diarrhea uh, muscle pain nausea vomiting dehydration uh, blood bloody stools you know and uh, uh, yeah, these, these are the main signs and the symptoms, you know, 
and uh, dehydration caused by the diarrhea is uh, a serious concern you know especially in the children you know and in the infants you know and uh, the very young uh, can become severely dehydrated in just one day you know and this can lead to death so dehydration is the very serious complication in case of the children especially you know uh, the next thing is how do the doctor diagnose that uh, you are suffering from the uh, salmonella or food poisoning? Well, to diagnose, uh, your doctor will uh, do a physical examination and uh, he will ask you the questions about the uh, disease or the symptoms and any travel history, you know, and any food consumption from the outside, you know, or where are you living, you know. So they may uh, look for uh, rash uh, with the small like pink dots on your skin you know and if these do dots are accompanied by high fever or uh, uh, they may indicate the serious form of salmonella infection which is called typhoid fever you know? and uh, uh, your doctor may also do a blood test or the stool culture you know so uh, this is to look for actual evidence and the samples of the salmonella bacteria in your body you know so it helps to uh, plan the treatment you know now, once diagnosed then, uh, the main treatment or the goal is uh, uh, replacing the fluids and the electrolytes uh, that you lose when uh, you have diarrhea or vomiting, you know. Uh, and adults should drink plenty of water and uh, like sopcon, ice cubes, etc. You know. And uh, your pediatrician may suggest uh, rehydration drinks such as uh, uh, pedigoid for or ORS for the children, you know, and uh, in addition, uh, modifying your diet to which include uh, uh, easily digestible foods, you know, like bananas or uh, uh, so I was in the kitchen, you know, I thought something boiling, sorry. So, the banana or the rice and uh, uh, toasts, you know, which are soft and they are easy to digest, you know, and you should avoid like uh, uh, dairy products and uh, get plenty of rest, you know. And this allows your body to fight uh, the infection, you know. And uh, if the nausea uh, prevents you from drinking liquids, you may need to see your doctor and receive like uh, intravenous fluids, you know. Uh, and uh, your know, children uh, may also need the IV fluids in case of severe dehydration. And uh, where they are not uh, drinking plenty of, uh, or they are unable to drink uh, you know, the water, you know. I know it's hard, you know. And uh, typically, the antibiotics and the medications to stop your diarrhea are not recommended. And uh, because these treatments can uh, prolong uh, the carrier state and the infection, you know, respectively. You know. And uh, the carrier state uh, means uh, the period after time during and after the infection which can uh, uh, transmit the infection to other persons, you know. So, you should consult your doctor about the medications for the symptom management and uh, in severe cases the, if uh, uh, the symptoms are life threatening you know your doctor may uh, prescribe the antibiotics and maybe hospitalization will be required you know uh, but the best treatment plan is that uh, drink plenty of fluids and get the symptomatic treatment only for example to lower the temperature etc you know uh, and uh, just uh, take the electrolytes and uh, uh, fluids uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, well, the one thing that was, uh, I was going to forget is that is it possible to prevent it? Yes, to prevent this food poisoning, uh, handle the food properly. Uh, do not eat undercooked food, especially meat or poultry or uh, dairy products. Always use pasteurized uh, uh, milk and juices, and uh, uh, wash the vegetables uh, uh, carefully. Uh, with the bottled water if you're traveling uh, to any uh, third world country you know uh, and uh, uh, separate the utensils for the raw and the cooked items you know and keep the food refrigerated before cooking and uh, if you own uh, like a reptile or any pet like pets you know wear the gloves while handling them you know so this way yes you can uh, prevent it thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease, any medical condition, you can visit our website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. Thank you. Goodbye.